Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Susan here back with another video. So if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Susie. I create videos on faith, lifestyle, dance, and fashion, and you should subscribe. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much and let's get right into this video. So today is the 31st of October, a Monday morning, and I just arrived at work. Time check this should be around 7:35-ish or so. Yeah, and I'm the only one here. Um show you the doctor's room. Yeah. I'm the only one here yeah that's the bed which is a little bit messed up and yeah all the other doctors are not yet here so i'm just waiting for everyone else to come and then we'll go for our morning meeting at eight o'clock on monday morning and after that i'll go to my female ward for the ward round then i'll leave and then come back at 17 because i'll be on call today so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video i'll try as much as possible to record and make this video more interesting and educative and yeah if you have any comments suggestions please feel free to leave them in the comments and don't forget to like this video okay and yeah do subscribe if you're new here so i'll catch you guys later bye hey guys welcome back so time check this is 17.05 right now and i've just arrived in uh i've just arrived at work for my call so yeah, this is my outfit for my call. Just a what do you call this top vest, track bottom, and some pumps. And yeah, we are good to go. So yeah, uh, I'll try as much as possible to keep this video educative and share whatever cases I come across and how I manage them. And yeah, for now, you guys stay tuned, stick around, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share if you are new here, okay? So I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye, enjoy! So this is our HDU, this is a high dependency unit and this is basically where we bring all the emergency cases from internal medicine, examples are DKA or um, septic shock, cardiogenic shock, just any type of emergency we bring them here, okay? So this is the surgical and gynecological department of the Livingston UTH hospital and this is also where the main pharmacy is. So we came here specifically to collect some medicine that is promethazine for one patient who I had and I'll later on explain their diagnosis in the video as you keep on watching. So for now you guys stay tuned, enjoy this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share. So this is me back in the internal medicine department, the male ward to be specific, and I'm just countersigning for the blood which I collected for my patients.
Hi guys, good morning. So our time check this is 04. Sorry, so our time check this is 05:42 a.m. Uh, 1st November 2022. Happy new month, guys. I hope you have a splendid month and you enjoyed this month. Okay, so yeah, just a recap of my night call and how it was. So I literally did not sleep, you guys. Like you see me right now, I did not sleep. Okay, it was so busy. Patients kept coming non-stop. I admitted like how many? One, two, three, about like seven patients in the night, and I saw like almost like twenty plus patients in OPD and also emergency cases that came. And of those that I had seen as emergencies, I admitted seven, okay, so it's wild, okay, it was wild, like, the night was wild, I did not sleep, you guys, like, my head is banging right now, my eyes hurt, but, yeah, we love what we do, because, I mean, I would not do anything else, but, yeah, just to run you guys through the cases that I had, okay, so I had to change location, because where I was, was a bit dark, and there were people passing, but, yeah, I'm sitting somewhere now, in the triage area basically which looks like this yeah it's a little bit dirty right now because a lot of patients that came here and it was just a whole mess but yeah and that's the oxygen tank and yeah this is me so i'm just gonna give you guys a run through of the cases that i encountered and i hope you guys learned a thing or two okay so pay attention so the first case that i encountered uh was an emergency case an old lady of 85 years old who presented with a recurrent stroke in an old stroke patient with hypertensive heart disease so this patient had hypertensive heart disease obviously on poor compliance of meds and then she had a stroke which occurred some few years back and then she had a recurrent stroke today okay so i admitted her and we did the ng tubization because she was not able to eat anything so we gave her the ng tubization for feeds and then also catheterized and she was febrile, so we gave also ceftriaxone, that dose of 2 grams IV. Yes, via, via the cannula that we had inserted, and what else did we do for her? Yeah, we gave her also BP, BP lower in meds because her BPs were quite high, so we gave her a start dose of nifedipine, 20 milligrams sublingual because she couldn't again swallow anything. And yeah, the BPs dropped a bit, also gave moderatic 55 start to be like the nephilipine and that helped the bps to drop so right now she's in the ward she's at least stable she's not febrile anymore the bps have at least dropped and yeah that was the first patient that we saw and then the next one was a 32 year old female who was a non hiv patient who presented with hypovolemic shock so her bps were quite low they were like 70 over 45 yes so we had to do iv resuscitation rapidly okay rapid iv resuscitation with ringers lactate if not then you can use normal saline so in our case we used um we used normal saline i think yeah because we didn't have ringers lactate and we resuscitated and put our maintenance of three liters at 24 hours hypovolemic shock in a non rvdr and also what can cause hypovolemic shock, right? Especially with her presentation, which was weakness, dizziness, palpitations, the heart was tachycardic on examination, and rapid and shallow breathing. So uh, differential diagnosis can be anemia. So I screened the blood for anemia and we found the blood, the HP was at 5.7, okay? So this patient needs an agent blood transfusion and yeah we will order blood for her and possibly transfuse her okay so that was the second patient that i had and then the third patient that i admitted was a female 50 years old uh so this was hyperglycemia her, her rbs was 21.8 millimoles yes and uh a newly diagnosed uh, diabetes because of the high blood sugars and also a non-hypertensive heart disease patient in an RVDR. okay so she was RVDR. she had hypertensive heart disease and also hyperglycemia which was a new diagnosis of diabetes so what we did for her was to start the fluids you know the way they give the fluids in diabetes yeah to lower the blood sugar and then also give uh, a start dose of acrapid 6.5 international units because her body weight was 65 so 
the actual pits that was was calculated at, calculated at 6.5 iu and then after that we now calculated the 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 insulin that should receive in the morning and in the evening so that's the actual fin so how to calculate that so you're basically getting the patient's body weight and multiplying by 0 0.5 are you okay of insulin so 0 0.5 by the patient's body weight so 0 0.5 by 65 that gave us about 30 something i don't know you guys do the math and then basically you are going to give uh two thirds of that figure that you get uh in the morning and then the other one said they're going to give it in the evening so that's what we did for her so we basically gave her like 22 international units of actual friend in the morning and then uh 10 international units of actrophen in the evening okay and also open the urinalysis profile for hourly of course we did it just when she came but there were no ketones so we did the urinalysis when the patient just came and there were no ketones so if ketones were present then we're going to treat her as a dka but since there are no ketones so i basically just treating her for hyperglycemia um in non in newly diagnosed diabetes okay so we just give the acrobates that dose and then you also calculate the the morning and the evening dose that you'll be getting so you do the 0 0.5 by the body weight of the patient okay guys and then you're also going to do your four hourly urinalysis your rbs profile also uh bp profile because she's hypertensive yeah what else are we going to do for them yeah the iv fluids of course the maintenance that you're giving okay for the sh uh, the sugar to go down and yeah that's basically it okay and then the other patient that i encountered were two referrals from choma that is matcha mission hospital so both of them were severely anemic like one had an hp of 2.9 and then the other one had an hp of 3.0 yes so i had to like rush and uh make a blood request for them to receive agent blood transfusion of at least two units each of which i successfully did you guys so i'm so proud of myself like i managed my patients well i got them blood just when they came they didn't have to wait for like days or weeks or however long patients are made to wait for blood like they just got the blood right there and then when they came so super proud of myself so yeah those were the two patients i saw and then one of them is having also some liver pathology so i also ordered for an abdominal ultrasound which will be done when it's like a bit stable and we've given him the blood already just to try to rule out any other causes of whatever it's having and then the other guy also has like a prostatic um suspected prostatic carcinoma because the dre was done in those like uh, the rough and irregular surface yeah so uh, probably I would refer him to the surgeons for that after I treat the anemia and everything else. That probably is, that might probably be what is causing his anemia, the prostatic cancer. I just hope that it's not metastatic because it might be too late for him. But we'll try our best to treat the anemia as soon as we can and then let him be seen by the surgeons so that they figure the way out for him. Yeah, and then the other one, the other two that I had, the other two males were basically cases of uh, acute gastritis and uh, acute gastroenteritis. So the acute gastritis patient came in in severe, severe abdominal pain, just like in my previous video, if you watched the previous hospital video, where I went to the high cost to see a patient who presented with severe abdominal pain. So that one, um, the one who came presenting the same way today, uh, had a history of taking like spirits or alcohol, like spirits, yeah, on an empty stomach, like who takes spirits alcohol spirits on an empty stomach like yeah so we basically he came basically in severe pain like he was he was agitated like he was rolling on the floor he was screaming he was vomiting it was just yeah so we had to give promethazine because again we do not have metoclopramide so we gave promethazine uh so what i did i gave a start dose of 25 milligrams iv because we only had one remaining and then i had to uh, get an oral dose of 25 milligrams so we gave him iv 25 milligrams and then also oral 25 milligrams so we gave a start dose of 50 milligrams iv slash oral promethazine okay and in like about 30 to 45 minutes the patient became relaxed he stopped having the pain and he even slept so right now he's even still sleeping he'll probably wake up and he'll be feeling much better and then by then my senior will have come my second uncle will have come so we'll be doing our post-admission round and yeah
And then the other one who had acute gastroenteritis, so basically he was just vomiting, like vomiting episodes for like about six episodes since 21 hours yesterday. Of course, he had no abdominal pain. He just said he was feeling nauseous and vomiting, of which again, we do, we do not have metoclopramide here. So the only thing that we basically can for him is just to give him like the IV fluids replacement to replace the electrolytes and the fluid that have been lost. Otherwise, yeah, you know, it's rough out here. But he's stable yeah he's got no fever he's stable so yeah of course we just covered on antibiotics just in case you know and then what else what else, what else, what else? Yeah, that was basically it so those are like the cases that i've encountered the emergency cases that i encountered the other ones i saw from opd were basically just like peptic ulcer diseases respiratory tract infections um what else gastritis uh, yeah not se not severe things flu those kind of things yeah so in all in total i think on this call day i've seen like probably about 20 patients yeah i probably have seen like 20 patients if not more because like yo, <sighs> it was rough like i have not slept so right now i think it's basically like yeah so right now it's basically like uh, 05 56 it's almost 6 a.m and i'm just shortly going to go and uh start off to the laboratory just to uh, compile all the blood results for all my patients so that when we start our post score round we have everything in check and nothing is missing so that's what i'm gonna be doing now i'm just going to go to the doctor's room and try to refresh myself drink some water um wash my face or something like that and then go to the lab and get the the results for all the patients that are admitted today so it's gonna be a long post school day i'm pretty sure i'm gonna end like probably around 11 12 because i've admitted i've admitted so many patients including the ones that were admitted the previous day in the morning and afternoon so oh, lord have mercy on you girl but i hope you guys have learned something or two about the cases the management or so at least you can just list them down and then study them so that when you're also doing your internship you can have an idea of how to manage them and all that stuff okay so don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up like comment subscribe and stay tuned i'll see you guys uh in my next video clip okay yeah so stay tuned bye so this is literally my breakfast for the morning and this is me like literally just on my way to the laboratory to collect lab results for the patients that i had admitted to the previous night so this is basically all for this cold day hope you guys have enjoyed so far and this was me the following day after my call and i was going to the medical clinic to go and see patients from over there we usually go there with the senior doctors to review patients with special cases and this was just where i happened to be so just a sneak peek of the office where we see the patients from so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video please feel free to like comment subscribe share what you want to see and i'll see you in my next video i love you guys thank you for watching bye i don't know how we got here but